Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I know I have been totally MIA, but I'm in my sem second semester of nursing school and I'm taking pharmacology and med surge one. And when I tell you it is whooping my butt, it's whooping my butt. So you'll have to excuse me if I disappear for a little while. I am going to try and be as consistent as possible with these videos, but nursing school comes first and I've been very, very, very busy. Plus I've started going to the gym and exercising and trying to eat healthy. So that's a whole nother role and responsibility that I've taken on. Um, I'm also the social media coordinator of our nursing school student nurses association. Um, I got voted in to be vice president starting in spring. So January, I'll be taking over as vice president of the SNA, which is the student nurses association. Um, so between school, the SNA and being married and my dogs, you'll hear them clicking around. Um, I'm pretty, pretty busy. Want to say hi? Here's a little, this is Tip. This is my little girl. I love her so much. The big one's probably not going to come over here. She's just always up my butt. Anyways, so I've just been pretty busy. Um, but I had a request to do a video on how to take a manual blood pressure. So I just wanted to get that done because it's pretty quick and easy. Um, I did a video on how to use your stethoscope and that was pretty popular. So I just figured that, you know, maybe this video could help some people because I know when I was first getting into nursing school, I was like, oh my God, I don't know how to take vital signs. I'm so nervous. Like I have to learn this. This is so important and all that kind of stuff. So we're going to go over a manual blood pressure. So for a manual blood pressure, you are going to need a stethoscope and you are going to need a blood pressure cuff. Okay. So this is the video that I have on ATI for how to take vital signs. So I'm going to go ahead and play this and um, so it can explain briefly how to do it. Diaphragm of the stethoscope over the pulse. Turn the valve of the pressure bulb clockwise until tight. Quickly inflate the blood pressure cuff to 30 millimeters of mercury above the patient's usual systolic blood pressure. Slowly release the valve on the bulb and allow the manometer needle to drop at a rate of 2 to 3 millimeters of mercury per second. Note the number on the manometer when you hear the first clear sound. This is the patient's systolic blood pressure. Continue to deflate the blood pressure cuff slowly, noting the number at which the sound disappears. This is the patient's diastolic blood pressure. Listen for a few more seconds, then quickly deflate the blood pressure cuff. Okay, the blood pressure was... Remove the blood pressure cuff from the patient's arm. Perform hand hygiene. That's how you take a blood, a blood pressure. Remember, you're going to need a stethoscope and you are going to need um, a blood pressure cuff. I wish I could say this word better. I just can't. It's a really weird word. Um, so anyway, so just remember that when you take a blood pressure, you're going to put it over the arm. You're going to try and get whatever little indicator tells you where you need. You're going to use the brachial artery, which runs down this part of your arm more to the um, inner part of your body. Um, and you can even... You know, if you want to, before you take it, you can feel for a pulse. So that way you kind of have an idea of where um, you're going to be putting the little line to get the, blood, the best sound or blood pressure or whatever. So anyways, just remember, the first time the sound comes in, that is your systolic number. That's your top number. And then when the sound goes away, then that is your diastolic number. And so that is going to be, usually it's 120 over 80 is the norm. Um, anything over that, you're getting into hypertension. Anything below that, um, hypotension is l less common than hypertension, I feel like. Um, a lot of people who are very active or who are very healthy or some people just naturally have low blood pressures. So make sure whenever you're taking your patient's blood pressure to just say, you know, what is your normal blood pressure range? Is it high? Is it low? Do you know? Um, to just kind of have an idea, like if you get a really high blood pressure, you get a really low blood pressure, you kind of have an idea of that's their normal or not. Um, I hope this video helps. I have a farm exam coming on Tuesday that I'm trying to prepare for. Today is Saturday, so I only have three days to prepare for this exam. I'm very nervous about it. Um, pharmacology is extremely, extremely challenging. I personally think med surge is a little bit easier than farm just because you have 
kind of have a base in it from a and p and fundamentals farm is like a whole nother animal whole nother ball game that you have to learn how to um get through but anyways if you have any questions if you want me to do a video on how to take a respiration how to take a pulse or just a whole video on vitals overall it would be a longer video um but i can do that if that's something anybody is wanting i hope you have a great day and i will see you in the next video until then I'm out.